In the 1860s, a new optical illusion startled audiences. Ghostly images began to materialize on stage. Audiences listened to eerie stories and shivered as a convincing apparition drifted through the air. It was a new and curious series of optical illusions devised by engineer Henry Dirks and improved by Professor John Henry Pepper. The invention was first used in the theater at the Polytechnic Institution on Boxing Day, 1862, in a short production of Charles Dickens' The Haunted Man. It was billed a strange lecture. In the likenesses of forms and faces from the past, from the grave, from the deep, deep gulf, where the things that might have been and never were are always wandering. The narrator read Dickens' spectre tale, but it was the visual appearance on the stage of the pale ghost that really astonished the audience. So how was it done? In the 19th century, many theaters had deep pits just in front of the stage, used for orchestras or maybe queuing actors. With the ghost apparition, this is where the actor, dressed as a ghost and out of sight from the audience, would perform. The actor's ghostly image then was reflected on a huge sheet of glass. The audience couldn't see the glass in front of the stage, only the reflection of the ghost as it passed across the scene. On December 7, 2013, Pepper's ghost was back home at 309 Regent Street, also the original home of the Royal Polytechnic Institution and now the University of Westminster. Unfortunately, the pit in front of the stage no longer exists. Therefore, some modern technology had to be applied to recreate Pepper's effect. Using a short throw projector, a moving image of the ghostly man was first projected down onto the floor in front of the stage. From here, it bounced upwards to a large sheet of clear plastic. The plastic sheet is angled to reflect the image into the theater just as Professor Pepper did using glass in 1862. With careful control of the light and actor, the reflection of the ghostly apparition can even touch the real actors on the stage and just as easily can vanish into thin air. Pepper's ghost was to become a world famous theatrical effect. Even today it remains Fascinating.